When I heard that we were coming to a bridge in Iwakuni and that it was one of the shining spots of the city, I was like, a bridge, really? <laughs> Welcome to Iwakuni, Japan. This is one of the days we've looked forward to the most on this trip. Not necessarily because of Iwakuni, but because we are here visiting friends who live here. And they are gonna take us to the best sites of Iwakuni that we're gonna share with you. Starting with this beautiful bridge behind me. This is what it looks like underneath the bridge, right there. Gosh, it's so much fun to film this bridge. It's so picturesque. It is so much bigger in person and also so much steeper. It looks like it's not quite so steep in photos, but in person, the arc of the bridge is so much steeper. The bridge is just so much more impressive in person than it was in the photos we saw. It's so cool. For anyone who's wondering, yes, I am risking getting pooped on in order to get this underbridge shot, which I think is so cool. And underneath the bridge are these giant boulders that you can walk on. We thought that the water level here looked a little bit low, and so we asked whether that's normal, and apparently it is. This is about average for the water, and people like going swimming in it in July and August. It feels pretty cool to me. The water is super clear. Let's see how cold it is. I, I would, certainly would not do it in late October. When I heard that we were coming to a bridge in Iwakuni and that it was one of the shining spots of the city, I was like, a bridge, really? These top boards have nails in them, but the whole structure underneath the bridge is made without nails. It's just made by joints, joining together. I'm sure that's the technical term, <laughs> but that's incredible. That's so amazing. The middle sections are so steep that they actually have stairs. Little stairs, but stairs. I mean, it's like an engineering marvel, this bridge. No nails. Holy cats. Can I say that here? Holy cats? Holy cow? Holy guacamole? Holy moly. Holy all of the things. <laughs> I was wrong. Now that we're here, the bridge is just so much more impressive in person with its beautiful arches and the beautiful woodwork that's underneath and the engineering of it all. I get it. I get how and why this would be a masterpiece of Iwakuni and I think more people should come and see it. And you know what? This is a really nice nature break. After being in cities for days and not really seeing a lot of hills and being out in nature, this is kind of an amazing day already and we're just getting started. We are on the far side of the bridge now and I've just realized why this feels so different from the past few days. We've been able to see hills everywhere we go, but there are tons and tons of school kids and it's sort of us and a few tourists and a few locals and like nobody else, which is amazing. Also, this is the far side of the bridge and it looks completely different. It's beautiful. Cherry blossom trees line the edge of the river on the far side of the bridge and I hear it's just spectacular in spring. So if you want somewhere off the beaten path to look at cherry blossoms, I think this is your place. <laughs> Arigato. <laughs> set this on the ground. So we have learned that there are two ice cream shops on the square that's at the base sort of of the ropeway that have had a long standing rivalry. So we have each ordered an ice cream from each shop and we're gonna try them and see which one's the winner. Now we actually don't know what the flavors are that each other ordered. So we're, we're, we're hoping this is comparable. We'll see. Oh, there's actually bits of fruit in there too. Yeah. All right, All right here goes. Oh, wow. Oh that's my very, gosh, it's so good. good. Yeah? What did you get? I don't know. Here, try. Okay. It's so creamy and delicious. Oh, that's too big. Okay. Ooh. Oh. That doesn't go with mine at all. <laughs> so I ordered pistachio. Ah. And... This was mango pineapple. They're both delicious, completely different flavors. Which one's the winner? 
I, I like mine. Pistachio is kind of your thing. I think I like his too. Ooh. That's the winner. The winner. <laughs> We're only getting mixed on a little bit and then the wind changed. <laughs> it was time to leave. It did not go well for me. You want to go in there, right? <laughs> I think you should. Why do you keep trying to get me to go to places with snakes? No. <laughs> and just like that, we're at the top overlooking the town. The ropeway is really fast, easy, and not as scary as some other ones we've been on. And the view as you come up is beautiful. Not as scary as white snakes either. <laughs> now we're headed to the castle. It's an eight minute walk in the middle of a forest. <laughs> I think I might love you, Kuni. Big, fat, no. Never seen it, I've never heard of it. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? <laughs> to be fair, our friend who's from here is saying she's never heard of or seen pit viper snakes in the area. So maybe that sign is a practical joke. <laughs> but she recommends seeing the white snakes for sure. No, no. <laughs> what is this fool doing? Wait till you see the sign that he's right by. I don't see anything. Like this whole area is roped off because that'll keep the snake inside and it apparently doesn't keep humans out. No. The view from up here is just incredible. you see the view from the top of the castle. distance makes me really excited for tomorrow's adventures. At the bottom of the ropeway in Iwakuni <laughs> is another beautiful park. This city has just this stunning park area that goes up against the mountains and it is the prettiest park that I think we've been in so far in Japan, which is a surprise. I mean, some of them are just massive. Look at that light yellow one. Mm -hmm. Bill's foot for scale. <laughs> Look, they're all trying to eat your foot. <laughs> Put your hand down here. Well, 
Melanie Wakuni, we visited our first conveyor belt sushi restaurant. Would it be as amazing as we dreamed it would be? Marinated albacore. Okay. Okay. Yeah. She's okay. That's for Kazuko. Oh, that was yours? Yeah. Oh, wow. That looks really good. <laughs> what? I have to roll it myself? Thank you. Mm. What is this madness? <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so sticky. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't pick up just one. And it is cold. <laughs> I don't understand what I'm eating. <laughs> this is a french fry coated in something super sweet. It sort of tastes like honey. And it's crystallized and hard on the outside and creamy on the inside. It's really good, but I just don't understand what I'm eating, <laughs> what I'm looking at. <laughs> that one's for us to split. Yeah. Yeah. It's so good. They're two different colors. I'm good. I'm, you're not supposed to dip the rice in soy sauce, are you? You're supposed to flip it over. Yeah, but it'll just come off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's our secret. Happy dance. Mm hmm. Dance. Mm hmm. Hey! Let him slide? Yep. I guess. No, you gotta get the game. Three. Four. Well, we gotta catch some fish. Take the straps. Something's happening! Something's happening! Oh, you did it. What'd she want? What'd we win? Tell her what she's won, Bob. How do you open these? <laughs> oh, he's so cute! It says Tata! <laughs> what is it? It says Tata. This means something different in the US. I don't know what this means, but it's something different at home. <laughs> it's cute, it's a button. <laughs>